Hello guys and girls, Raj here, back with another Docker video. In this short video, we are going to learn about Docker layers and multi-stage builds. So let's just start with Docker file. So what is a Docker file? Docker file is a document that contains all the commands a user could call on the command line to assemble an image for your application. So in this slide, on the left, I have a sample a Python program along with the requirements and on the right we have the docker file to dockerize the container. I'm not going to go deep on what is docker file and how to dockerize an application. I have a separate video where I started with the application running on your local desktop, uh, then we dockerize it in your local desktop, uh, test it out and then migrate to cloud and then deploy cloud concepts. So I'm going to link that video up top, check it out uh, if you want. So if we dive deep into this Docker file, you can see that each line is a command. So when these commands are executed, it creates a layer or intermediate images. For example, when the from python colon 3.8 is run, it creates a layer for this command. Similarly, each command keep on adding more layers to the container image and your final Docker container image is the collection of these layers. And when you run your container image to run as a container, on top of this container image layers, a thin writable container layer is created. So each of the layers adds to the size of the container image. So let's take a look with our existing program. Okay, I'm going to build the Docker file that we just explained. So if I run Docker images, you can see currently I have no images. So I'm going to run Docker build minus T, name of the image as sample Python image uh, to Dockerize this application. And then it's gonna go do all the steps. And finally it says exporting layers. So let's see what is the size of this container image. So if I run Docker images, you can see it generated this container image, but the size is 893 megabyte. And this is a pretty straightforward Docker file, right? It's just installing this requirements file, which has only one external library. And then it's copying this Python file and then starting the server.python program. So now let's look at the layers. To look at the layers, you run docker, history, and the name of the container image. Uh, so you can see the first step is getting the base container, which is from Python colon 3.8. So this takes a lot of space. And then the work directory slash code doesn't take any space. And then run this command takes 9.74 megabyte. And finally, the command takes uh, no space. So for this case, most of the space is taken by the base image, which is uh, fetching Python 3.8 container image. So going back to our container image layers, uh, in your production workload, depending on the comments you are running on the Docker file, each layer will have some size. And it is very critical that you optimize the container image size. Uh, because when your containers need to scale or if a running container dies and it needs to be uh, replaced with another running container, one of the big factor of how fast the container orchestrator can create another running container from the image is the size of the container image. So how do you optimize container image size? So number one, you can reduce the size of each layer and number two, reduce the number of layers. So in our case, the base image uh, is the largest layer. So the base image that we are fetching is the Python 3.8 with bunch of libraries installed that we don't need. So it is highly recommended to fetch a lightweight image. So one of the super popular approach is, for example, uh, if you are using Golang, a Docker file, instead of fetching, let's say the Golang version 1.7.3, just fetch the Alpine latest container image. It will have the bare minimum libraries installed that can run your Golang code. Now going forward, and this is the multi-stage part, how do you reduce the number of layers? 
So if you think about it, at the end of the day, all the Docker file is doing is it is taking your code, installing the dependencies and compiling it and then creating a executable. And this is of course applicable for compiled languages. And once you have this executable, it can run anywhere, right? Because once you have this exe file or a jar file uh, or the Golang uh, final package file, you do not need to have the code and dependencies anymore. That final artifact is able to run by itself. So your final Docker container image can just have this final executable artifact and you should be fine. So multi-stage build achieves that. So with multi-stage build, you can have multiple stages in the same Docker file. So let's say stage one, you have the large base image and then you install the code and dependencies and then you compile your code to an executable artifact. And on the second stage, you take the small base image and just copy the executable into that small base image and you create the final Docker container for your application from this next stage. And all these multiple stages can be done in the same Docker file. So let's take a look at an example. So if we look at a multi-stage Docker file, so on stage one, it is grabbing the Golang version 1.7.3 and this as builder is the name of the stage. So the name of the stage is builder. And the final line of this stage, it is compiling the code and creating the final artifact. Now in the same Docker file, you can see we are grabbing the lightweight image and anytime there is a from statement in the Docker file, that means a new stage starts. And in this stage, I am simply copying the compiled code from builder stage. You can see I am referring the previous stage with dash dash from equals to builder. And the Docker container image will only be built from the last stage. So in this case, if you created your Docker container from just stage one, the size will be much larger. But on the second stage, since we are using the lightweight image and only copying the executable artifact, the size will be much less. So this is how you reduce the number of layers as well as the size of layers using multi-stage builds. If you like this video, smash that like button, uh, click subscribe. All the likes and subscribe really help this channel grow. We are almost at 10,000 subscribers. Can't wait till we cross that milestone. All right, with that guys and girls, uh, I end this video. I'll see you guys and girls in the next video. Bye.